katika mashamba yetu. Hii ni aibu sana kuona ya kwamba mtu anatoka pande ile anatoka analeta mifugo na anakunywa na akiulizwa wanaua hao watu ama wanapigana na hao watu. Hii ni tabia mbaya na tena tunauliza ya kwamba sasa kama hii serikali iko very serious na tunajua pengine serikali hii ina uwezo. Ichukue hatua ya kuona ya kwamba vitu kama madhara kama hayo ambayo yanaweza kuleta vita vikuu katika Kenya. Sisi viweze kumalizwa. Na viweze kumalizwa kwa sababu tumechoka sasa. Tumengojea serikali ingia katikati, tumeshindwa lakini sasa tumechoka. We are tired. Kuona ya kwamba sasa watu wengine watatumia mali mali yetu ambao sisi tuna nguvu zetu ambazo tumezifanya ndani ya mashamba kuweza wao kuja na kufaidika mahali ambapo hawafai kufaidika. Asante bwana speaker. Asante sana minority leader. Uh, Senator Mofaya. Senator Gataya. Thank you, thank you, Honorable Speaker. I think what Honorable Wambua has presented in this house is a very sad story. It's a very pathetic story because that uh, story has really touched quite a number of us, and it has been with us for quite some time. But I think, Honorable Speaker, we all know that we are, we are, we were on transition. We were transitioning from the previous government to this government. So most probably and most likely we are in some uh, transitional gaps. So this most just recently we put in place uh, a CS in the name of Professor Kidole Kideke, who is a brainchild of this house, and all senators would uh, confirm that Kideke is an, an efficient uh, CS. And the recent honourable members, honourable speaker, Kideke issued a very stern warning that uh, he is going to deal ruthlessly with all the perpetrators of crime, including Kitui and any other part of this country, all the criminals will be apprehended. We end also a statement from uh, Commissioner of Police, who was just recently vetted and uh, passed by this house, that uh, in as soon as time possible, so we are going to see some serious changes, that uh, in the next few weeks, we are not going to incident what is happening in Kitui, Samburu, or any other part of this country. There is a new regime, and I'm sure the people who are in control now, including the CS interior, Professor Kedeke, is equal to the task. And I'm very sure Honorable Abu is not going to raise that issue again in this house because that matter will be addressed. Thank you, Honorable Speaker, and I support the motion. Thank you, Senator. He has completed his... Uh, <laughs> so there's no need for point of order. Uh, Senator Olekina. time should start running now. Mr. Speaker, let me begin by saying that I empathize with my brother and my sister from Okambani, the distinguished Senator and Okambua, and Beth Sionga. Mr. Speaker, the issue of insecurity in a country can lead to a country collapsing. We have seen failed states such as Somalia, and this has been as, as a result of insecurity in that country. Mr. Speaker, this is a country that has made tremendous progress when it comes to issues of national cohesion. We are not the only visitors in Jerusalem, Mr. Speaker. We know that drought has decimated the population in this country. Wildlife, and even now, going after human. But that case as it may be, does not give anyone the right to be able to do away with another life. Mr. Speaker, this is a very serious matter, and I do hope that the Security Council of this country, which is comprised of the President, the Cabinet Secretary, and the entire security organs, should begin taking the matter of security in this country very seriously. Mr. Speaker, yesterday, when I saw the text from the distinguished senator from Kitui, tears started oozing from my eyes because I could feel his pain. You know, citizens are reaching out to him to support. We are the ombudspersons of the citizens. We are the only people who they can reach out to. 
I'm now pleading to my colleagues from the other side of the aisle to reach 